After I confessed, I've been trying to talk to her, but she just keeps running away. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily cringe content anywhere on the internet. Promise swearsies, it's just a fact and it's totally science. Go ahead and look it up. Today we are back over on 2chan with a provably real life stalker story. I could go full documentary mode and tell you all about Masaki Watanabe and Minami-chan, but I prefer to get more into the head and see some of the things that he said rather than just giving an outline of the events that unfolded. Let's see what led there, so join me, won't you, we'll take this journey together. Masaki Watanabe and Minami-chan. Time for another story of creepers from 2chan, but this time we know for sure that it's real and it is not quite the same. Pretty foul, but sometimes we gotta look evil in the eye, you know? First of all, this guy was arrested in September of 2010, Good place as any to start a story, right? Yeah, I do suppose, and then we'll Tarantino back the other way. I've seen this before. And the first cut on the new scene is gonna be a newspaper article headline, objecting to acquittal of ship captain, man with knife visits prime minister. Gosh, how does this relate to the other thing? Well, it's our old friend, Masaki Watanabe. <laughs> Uh, following controversy around a Chinese fishing ship colliding with a maritime safety agency patrol boat, the fishing ship's captain was ultimately acquitted. However, a man visiting the Prime Minister's estate carrying a knife in objection to this acquittal was arrested today by police. At around 10 a.m. on the 25th, a man appeared at the Prime Minister's estate, claiming that he wanted to protest. Upon a check of his possessions by security personnel, a 17-centimeter long knife was found. We run the calculations, six and a half inch blade. That's not a knife. <laughs> That's a knife. And yes, indeed, this man was arrested for violation of the swords and firearms control law. Oh, swords and firearms, great. Six inches is a, is a sword now. <laughs> the suspect was unoccupied Osaka resident Masaki Watanabe, age 32, and a floppy disk containing protests against the acquittal of the Chinese ship captain was also found on his person. Watanabe's on record saying he came to Tokyo in order to protest the Japanese government. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Also, seriously, a floppy? <laughs> The classics never die, man. <laughs> hey, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. As a matter of fact, Masaki posted a thread on 2chan saying that he was going to do all of this, but that's not really what we're here for, is it? Later, in October, he posted this thread. And we only connected all the dots after the fact. <laughs> I got rejected by a girl at university. Now I want to off myself. Masaki. I mean, really, I beat it to her like every single day. <laughs> yeah, the highest form of human connection. <laughs> I never thought I could care about someone as much as I care about you. Two Chan, and you were rejected. Why, Masaki? I don't know. After I confess, she's been treating me like a stalker. Another Anon says, Sucks, man. You were getting along as friends up until then? Masaki, uh, we weren't. <laughs> <laughs> so the only relationship you had was the fantasy that you built in your head. He's an insane person. I don't know if we could properly lock him up after the knife incident, but he is in desperate need of some sort of help. Stop it. Get some help. Another Anon says, so you mean you had feelings for her all along and then suddenly blurted them out? Masaki, right. She always had her girlfriends around, so I couldn't get close. <laughs> yeah, that's the defense mechanism. <laughs> hey, how am I a stalker anyway? I mean, we've only talked four times. Talking is at least good. It's sort of straightforward. I've seen your face and I know that you're there now. I think it's the whole you hiding in the bushes type of stuff <laughs> that we're really worried about here. Oh, okay. Anon, if you'd barely been with her, then why the heck did you confess? Masaki, my feelings were so strong, and my head was a mess. 
It was past tense. <laughs> Citation needed. He was getting in the way of my studies, so he figured I'd confess as a way of uh, sorting out my feelings. Yes, just lift this emotional burden and put it on another person's shoulders. Outstanding. <laughs> Anon. What does a woman have to do to make you like her that much if you've barely even talked? Sounds like you're weird. This is making me feel kind of gross. <laughs> uh, I just love the straightforwardness. We can all spot a creep from a mile out, and I feel the, the public need to inform you that you are in fact a creep, sir. <laughs> Another Anon says, yeah, same. Third Anon says, so, was it love at first sight? <laughs> Masaki, yeah, it was. I really love her. It's true. When I go to bed and turn off the lights, her face comes to mind. And I'm so lonely that I want to die. Again, have you considered therapy? <laughs> Uh, I don't think she's gonna fix this for you. You gotta put in the work yourself. Make yourself a, a partner that is worthy of this woman that clearly you're willing to go to the ends of the earth for. Of course, saying that and doing it are two different things. Anyway, Anon says, Imagining an ugly creeper thinking about me like this makes me feel sick. Sounds like an awfully standard rejection. That's true. She wasn't even mean about it. <laughs> Another Anon. If you're not doing anything stalkery but saying you're the one, then it's probably this. Like, you're not her type, or you weren't friends to begin with, or she doesn't understand how you imagined having a shot in hell at winning her over. That sort of thing. I had a similar experience in high school. Got kind of out of hand, actually. People in other classes were saying like, Oh, are you that stalker guy? Or, ors. I, <laughs> I don't know what ours is. I really wanted to die then, too. Another nod says, I need more info about the situation of being rejected and, and your approach afterwards, Masaki. After I confessed, I've been trying to talk to her, but she just keeps running away. <laughs> Uh, it's probably not a great sign. It's probably time to pack it in, you know? <laughs> it seems Masaki made a bunch of creepy threads pretty much exactly like this one, none of which lasted very long. Just some creepy loser doesn't use any silly emoticons. Who really cares, honestly? <laughs> Until January of 2011. Thread appears titled, Tomorrow, I'm going to attack a Rizuka University and ending 30 people. Masaki says, I can't take it anymore. Yeah, this is not gonna go well. I mean, he's not gonna do that, but <laughs> it's definitely not gonna go well. Anon says, here's a bunch of helpful links for police reports and a bunch of said links. Another Anon says, good job. Whoa, 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 Ho hold on. OP, uh, you're a good guy. I know you are. Don't do that. <laughs> Everything's going to be fine. Oh no, I knew he'd do it someday. Where is Takarazuka University? First time I've heard of a Takarazuka University. Another Anon says, can a post like this really get someone arrested? Uh, I don't think you can get much from that little. Well, not in Japan generally. They really wait until they can nail your ass to the wall. <laughs> uh, another Anon says, I googled it, and there is a Takarazuka University. Is this OP serious? Well, oh, this is not good. No good. Stop! Don't! <laughs> For the TV report. Are we also media poison? Yes, for the TV report. <laughs> Include me in the screenshot, bro. <laughs> but just like the most morbid version of it. Uh, Masaki says, Ever since Minami-chan ran away from me September 3rd last year, my life has long been over. If only I had just died that instant. Nothing's changing, and pointlessly pushing myself for another three months, it's all over. Why, what happens in three months? 
It's not all over unless you make it be all over. <laughs> Anon says, If you report this and the police respond, even if nothing happens, it might do some good. And there might be a chance of OP getting arrested. If not to get OP caught, then you should at least do it to ensure the safety of anyone going to Takarazuka University tomorrow. I'm not going to go out of my way, though. <laughs> Somebody should do something at some point. I leave it all up to you from here. <laughs> It's none of my business. It's none of my business. <laughs> uh, another Anon says, You're as good as caught, OP. Prepare yourself. Funny you guys make those four TV posts because I'm imagining them being read in my usual ugly nerd voice. Probably not inaccurate. <laughs> Look, just, just calm down. Is this supposed to be like the sewer sliding thread for the day? Another Anon says, actually, I have a summary of the virgin art school student who's jealous of government workers and makes threads near daily on 2chan. This guy provided a ton of info on previous threads by Masaki, but those are not really all that relevant. I mean, a hundred threads of just whining and bitching about your life, it probably would be enough to drive me crazy. I'd do it for the people, but secretly I'm glad they're not included. <laughs> Uh, he confesses to and is rejected by a girl in university that he'd barely talked to, starts being a stalker, and gets called a criminal. On September 25th, 2010, arrested while concealing a knife near the Prime Minister's estate. Lives in Hoenzaka in central Osaka, no occupation, suspect Masaki Watanabe, 32. Oh, and here's his Twitter, which makes his stalkerness as plain as day. Yeah, wow, just translating like a couple of these tweets, this is like some really dark stuff. You might think it's the deepest troll ever, but I think that's because all of us have been somewhat media poisoned. Things like this do really happen. There are some insanely unbalanced individuals out there. Keep your head on a swivel, for God's sakes. I'm glad Manami-chan ran away. <laughs> she had very good instincts to run away. Ladies could just smell the creep on you, you know? <laughs> Anon says, Konishi was such a nice boy. I didn't think he'd hurt a fly. If Opie's arrest is certain, then I'll look forward to tomorrow's news. Should I buy up all the delicious Takanoko no Sado to eat as I watch? There's no need to worry about Yonoko no Yama selling out, of course. They're both Japanese candies that have this weirdly intense rivalry. <laughs> Anyways, now that is an interesting piece of culture that I didn't realize at all. So I looked up Takenoko no Sado, and apparently it means bamboo countryside. They're these little chocolate covered wafer things. And then I looked up Kinoko no Yama, and that translates to Mushroom Mountain, and it's also chocolate-covered wafer things. <laughs> One is just shaped like mushrooms, and the other is uh, fairly formless. I guess it is bamboo. Now you can make an informed decision on this weirdly intense rivalry. <laughs> uh, let me know who you like in the comments. Anyway, Anon says, if you're serious, even if he is arrested, it'll come a month later. <laughs> the news will definitely not put anything on about him tomorrow. I know some people would definitely do it, and it's safest to report this. Did somebody report this yet? Can you call 911 if you see an urgent threat like this online? And the number is actually 110 in Japan. And I think this Anon misunderstands what urgent means. <laughs> uh, tomorrow is less important than in the next five minutes. Maybe try to keep those phone lines clear, huh? <laughs> uh, if he's jobless in his 30s, he's got nothing to lose, so <laughs> he'll do it. <laughs> uh, another Anon says, I sent in a report online for now. My phone's dead, so someone else can call the 1110 emergency line. Thanks, Anon. I hope that's enough. Last Anon says, Calm down, OP. There's still time to surrender. Masaki, hey, I've had enough. I've always been called an evildoer and forced to apologize, but I'm not crying myself to sleep any longer. I'm going to let out all my grudges. You're a real sick individual. You know that? You probably know that. You've done nothing at all, you you barely exist to these people. And by these people, I mean basically everybody that you know except your parents. You go through the world like a ghost. 
Because getting out of your comfort zone is hard. And the one time he did it, the one time that he extended himself, oh, he was rejected. The world wasn't handed to him on a silver platter. How often do I see this? <laughs> Just all the time from the worst type of people. Adon says, so when's this guy going to get arrested? Get to work, police. <laughs> Looking for Manami-chan, OP. She's sleeping right here, buddy. Just take good care of her, Chad. Don't break her heart. <laughs> Masaki. I never thought that Manami-chan might take another look at me. I just was so shocked when I confessed to Manami-chan and she ran away that I wanted to ask her about it, but this is how I'm treated. I'm broken now. I'm not crying myself to sleep any longer. Yeah, you, you said that before, stupid. <laughs> Nobody owes you answers, or time, or attention. Sometimes you just gotta learn how to sit with the L. You're like, okay, that's how that went. Maybe we can do better next time if we build some rapport. But I know it's just easier to blame everybody else around you. <laughs> Anon says, even if you're a troll, god damn, but okay, I'll take the bait for now. Ending people won't accomplish anything, so stop it. If you have the motivation to do that, there's plenty of other things that you can put it towards. Masaki. If you have the motivation to do that, there's plenty of other things you can put it towards. Do you know what it's like to have memories burnt into your mind of your beloved running away from you without ever knowing why? <sighs> I couldn't possibly do that. You can, actually. It's pretty easy. Just see her as a normal human being. She's got flaws just like anyone else. Sure, really nice butt, but did you know poop comes out of it? <laughs> Consider that, friend. <laughs> and, uh, Anon says, It's because you had a huge ball of snot in your nostril, dummy. It definitely takes more motivation to end 30 people than to get over that, so... Keep living. Why isn't this guy arrested yet? Calm down, OP. Manami-chan went to go to the toilet, but you were keeping her. It looked like she was running away, but she just really had to go. Yeah, go. Forever. <laughs> A wild genius appears. Masaki returns to the thread. Even now, after every lecture at university, my body feels so heavy. <laughs> Uh, you don't say, is your body so heavy? You're a bit of a big boy, are you? It's okay, you just gotta learn how to own it. <laughs> I tried to take a nap, and some girl insulted me. We got into a fight, and I was the only one who got suspended. We got in a fight, meaning you hit a woman. <laughs> All these irrational things forcing me to lower my head. I can't take it anymore. There's no point in being a good kid. I'm going to let out all my grudges. It's interesting that he chooses to say good kid when he's 32. Still going to college, ain't done shit with his life. Maybe it is for the best. Maybe you aren't cut out for this world, but don't take any other people with you. That's just selfish. And he rambles on. Enough! I'm tired of being courteous to the people in this world. I'm so respectful and good-mannered. Yeah, we've heard this before. I'm such a nice guy. <laughs> but they pelt me with horrible insults and act violently at me. I'm not going to be a rule abider anymore. I'm going to do what I like. I'm going to let out all my grudges. Yeah, that's like the third time you've said this. Like, part of me wants to laugh that he's having his bad boy transformation, and he refers to himself as not a rule abider anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and the other part of me wants to be terrified that, yes, he's having these repetitious thoughts, ingraining the idea of letting out all his grudges into his own subconscious in order to uh, summon up the strength to actually do it. Because trust me, if he's repeating the words in his posts, then he's most definitely repeating them in his own brain. Okay, anyways, <laughs> Anon says, Right, right. <laughs> Could this be the final chapter of the Manami-chan saga? If he's not caught at this point, I'm wondering what the hell the police are doing. 
I don't know, investigating. <laughs> Another Anon says, Hey, calm down. You never know when your luck could turn around. <laughs> Half the population's women, you know. No need to make such a fuss about that one. <sighs> this guy sounds serious to me. <laughs> Yikes. Masaki, hey, prepare yourselves. I'm gonna hunt you all down. Oh, here we go. And that tough guy coming through. <laughs> Anon asks, will that satisfy you? Pardon me. I'm not actually quite ready yet. Just call your girlfriend and work it out over the phone, okay? The problem is that she's not his girlfriend. Not yet, but if you send her a hamster hidden inside a box of sugar, maybe she could be. <laughs> this is a throwback to the Denko saga, which is another two chance saga that we read. Maybe you could check it out if you like this one. Also subscribe or something too, that would be nice. Anyway, another Anon says, yikes, this guy, just go die in peace without causing others any trouble, okay? Indeed, yes, this, why not do this? <laughs> another Anon. Listen, don't you dare hurt people that have nothing to do with this. What would you think if someone you knew was seriously injured in some indiscriminate crime like this? What would you think if you were just eating a meal and were suddenly swiped at with a knife? Hurting others is only hurting yourself. Your life can't go on like that. Another Anon says, hey, quit it. He'll read that as, but Manami chan has something to do with this. I mean, both posters are correct. <laughs> it is solid advice, but this guy is not solid. The physics just don't work. Uh, Masaki returns to say, So you're telling me to just concede, no matter what I encounter? Because I've been encountering it everywhere. Not only at university, but I was suddenly kicked by a worker on public transportation once. Oh my, how you have suffered! <laughs> uh, I don't want to hear any more of this. The world is full of the kind of people responsible for the way I've been treated. I have no more respect for society. I'm going to let out all my grudges. Yeah, you keep saying that, but I'm not even sure you know how a grudge works. You usually have to hold it against one specific person. You don't just go shank people that are eating sandwiches. <laughs> Anon says, Have you seen Madame Chan's nips? Because if they're not ideal, she's not worth your time. <laughs> if she's going to be a spoil sport, go for another girl. I'm sure you'll have a great time, OP. Again, pretty solid advice. <laughs> uh, nothing helps you get over a woman like another woman. <laughs> uh... But don't listen to me, I'm, I'm codependent, <laughs> been in relationships my entire life. There's probably a healthier way to do things. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Another Anon. Heesh, how many times is he gonna say he can't take it anymore? Do you know it's really beautiful, OP? Do you know how heartwarming it is to have a girlfriend warming up your fingers on a cold day? If you've never experienced that, what are you doing sinking into the darkness? You're almost completely fabricating what kind of girl Manami is. And when you meet a girl who really loves you back, then don't let her go. They have good advice flying everywhere in here today. The trolls are quite scarce, and yet he, he's still determined to do what he's going to do. You can't really turn him away from the path. He just wants to inform you and also maybe get some recognition for it. Um, another Anon says, Does this guy really think he's persuading OP? Give me a break. <laughs> well, he's writing about having a girlfriend like it's special, so I'm gonna guess you're both virgins. <laughs> uh, Shut up! I, I got a girl! Oh, are you enjoying living with your mom? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sick burns back and forth in this thread. I'm glad that they were left included. Uh, Masaki comes back and says, There's no woman more beautiful than Madame Chan. No matter how foully you insult her, you won't stop me from thinking about Madame Chan. You must understand, there is no woman more beautiful than Madame Chan. I mean, that seems like an impossibility. No girl more beautiful than Madame Chan to you <laughs> would be more plausible. 
Look at me trying to rationalize with this Dumbo. Whatever, get on with the show. <laughs> Anon says, Now it looks like no one cares about Takarazuka University anymore. Now the thread's about girlfriend and sexy time and not being caught. Hey, my name's Manami. <laughs> you could probably find a hooker named Manami. Is that good enough for you? <laughs> Pokemon Black and White, now on sale. <laughs> Uh, the thread started getting even more random ASCII art, particularly Pokemon, and generally more spam than usual around this point, so actual posts worth mentioning got pretty sparse. Just trying to derail the thread, give this guy no more attention, I, I sorta get it. But another Anon says, Never mind the OP threat. I, I was just surprised that the university existed. Have you even gotten any sleep? You should at least sleep first, and you might feel a little better. Hey everybody, I heard this was today's Manami-chan thread, whoa! <laughs> uh, oh party David, you're the best. Yep. <laughs> Masaki says, uh, Why must Manami-chan be so beautiful? No matter what cruel things you say to me, I can't be indifferent to Manami-chan. I can't hate her. There couldn't be any other girl as beautiful as her. So don't tell me there's countless women out there, oars. Still don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, Google says that's a posture emoticon, representing a kneeling, bowing, or comically fallen over person. Oh, now I see the little person. That's so clever. He does use funny emoticons. He can't resist himself. <laughs> Uh, Anon says, Even if Manami did come to like you, she wouldn't approve of this nonsense. If you're just kind to her, then that's true love. Good night, Masaki. I feel like I understand your reasoning, but I'm telling you, I can't possibly make myself indifferent to Manami Chan. I checked my email yesterday and strangely found a reply from Manami Chan. She wrote horrible things about me, but even after reading, I couldn't get Madame Chan out of my head. What am I supposed to do? I'm already so obsessed with Madame Chan, I, I don't know what I could do. I don't know, man. Get over it or perish is really what it comes down to. <laughs> <laughs> Anon, still no pics of Madame Chan. <laughs> what is this? Somebody's gonna die real soon, so Takarazuka students, run! <laughs> Masaki, I love Madame Chan so much, and I know I'm causing Madame Chan trouble, but my feelings are too powerful to control. You haven't even tried. <laughs> I could take myself to the hospital, turn myself into the police who Madame Chan called on me once, but none of it would help to control my emotions. Why won't Madame Chan understand that? I can't just say to Madame Chan that I want to be hated. Why is it up to her to understand? Have you even tried to understand? <laughs> He's like, you just have to accept me the way that I am. I'm horrible, and that's something you need to learn to deal with. <laughs> uh, Anon says, Have you thought about Manami chans feelings at all in this? Sheesh, guy. If this guy isn't caught, Japan is in some serious shit. I mean, one very small section of it, but yes. I mean, also on a broader scale, like the national stage. Uh, also, yes. <laughs> uh. Another Anon asks, Is OP already asleep? I hope you're a troll, because if you're serious, sleep and calm down. Don't be a killer. You could just complain to us about whatever. Somebody call the university. Seriously, you're not going to be laughing if people really lose their lives. Yeah, a few more police reports should kick him into action. Masaki says, maybe I shouldn't have fallen in love with Madame Chan in the first place, but it doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> I like how you act like you had a choice in that matter at all. <laughs> uh, that's why it's falling in love, you see? You're not really in control of it 100%. Anyway, he says, I didn't think anything of living alone before I met her, but now... I'm unbearably lonely. There's no going back. I'm desperately in love with Madame Chan. I want to see Madame Chan. Oh God, here we go. Can't you print her face on a pillow or something like that? <laughs> uh, 
I hear that's more socially acceptable these days. Anon says, Were you just lying about being a killer? Just goddamn, turn yourself into the police. I still want to see what Madame Chan looks like. <laughs> what celebrities does she resemble? <laughs> Uh, yeah, there goes Anon, always thinking with his dog. <laughs> Another Anon says, 30 people is quite a goal. <laughs> I don't think a guy this stupid could pull that off. <sighs> I just called Takarazuka University and told them about it. Smell ya, OP. Why do people make threads like this? <laughs> That's a really good question. I guess so we have a paper trail. Masaki's last post in this thread, Even if Madame Chan truly hates me, I'm unbearably in love with her. I can't imagine life without Madame Chan. I want to see Madame Chan! This guy seems frighteningly real. Oh, realer than we could ever think. There he goes with the repetitious phrases again. This is not a stable individual. Very unbalanced, okay? And finally, that thread brings us to another news article. <laughs> Osaka art student 32 arrested for threat of going to end 30 people at university on 2 channel. On the 19th, police in Takarazuka arrested art school student Masaki Watanabe, 32, <laughs> who resides in Hoenzaka in central Osaka after he threatened on an internet message board that he would, quote, go to the university and end 30 people. The grounds for his arrest were given as a threat of violence found on his home computer on online message board 2 channel at approximately midnight 30 on the 19th, as well as threats against the university's business head, who was 58. According to police, suspect Watanabe dropped out of the Takarazuka University on September 10th. They state that a female student had declined his company, but are looking further into his motives. I guess that's all it takes for this dude. He had one girl say no and spun out of control. <laughs> Uh, that's ludicrous. I'm glad the police stepped in. What what would he have really done otherwise? Thank goodness we'll never know. And the story could pretty much end there, really. But here is one more thread from July of 2011 anyway. <laughs> Why did Madame Chan have to reject me at university? I don't understand. Get a job, Watanabe. <laughs> you again, huh? Oh boy, Masaki Watanabe, 32. Damn it, you're alive? Here are some facts about OP. Real name is Masaki Watanabe, age 32, as of September 25th, 2010. Rides in Hoenzaka in central Osaka. According to his past threads, he's 160 centimeters and 50 kilograms. Read scrawny. Started appearing on 2chan around summer of 2008. Made various crap threads. Was enrolled in Takarazuki University's art program in classes for sculpting, media design, and music and sound design. Up until September of 2010 where he stalked a girl when he was at the university and as a result of that incident dropped out in September. He enrolled in a two-year correspondence education at Osaka University of Arts in October. He has been arrested twice in the past and then there are links to the Prime Minister news article and a link to the summary of the thread surrounding his second arrest. Dave, dude, you really can't hide from the internet after a certain point. <laughs> They've got all the receipts. And just for the record, I'd like to state again, Get a job, Watanabe! <laughs> uh, Masaki says, I wanted to go to the Tenjin Matsuri with Manami-chan, oars. I'm just gonna keep reading it out like that. Anon says, Do you have a mental disorder? Or an intellectual handicap? Either way, you make me feel disgusting. Go end yourself. I feel bad for Manami-chan. If she was only being nice, since you're handicapped. <laughs> Masaki. Hey, no, I'm not handicapped. Dude, this is just gonna be him getting eaten alive by all of the Anons. I love it. <laughs> Another Anon says, Watanabe, you don't have any friends. Just consider that and live an honest life, would you? If you can't, then stop coming to 2chan, because we're not gonna be easy on you. Yes, and I think hard truths can help, but first you've got to hear them. 
Masaki says, but I am living honestly. Look at you, can't even be honest with yourself. <laughs> Why doesn't this government have a more thorough plan to address serious radioactive contamination? <laughs> I despair when I think about this generation. Oh yeah, super smooth topic shift there, bro. <laughs> uh, I see where you're going with that. Where the fuck is he going with that? <laughs> uh, Anon. Okay, more of Watanabe's out of left field lectures, huh? Or are you saying that you're like a power plant that blew up from obsessing over Manami-chan? We're not your buddies, pal. You're just gonna burden society forever, you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm not your buddy, guy! Uh. <laughs> Another Adon says, So you won't get a job, and you aren't going back to school. What the hell are you doing? Masaki, hey, I'm not going to school this year, at least. <laughs> For now, I'm going into digital music. Which basically just means he downloaded a pirated version of Fruity Loops. <laughs> <laughs> Anon says, and do what with it? Make money? How are you going to make money? <laughs> uh, still a crazy lunatic like always. Arrest this crazy lunatic. I want a serious answer. How are you going to deal? I'm really curious. What's it like being jobless at 33? Masaki. I was so sincere. So why did Manami-chan reject me? <laughs> I think it's best he doesn't answer any of the questions that he's getting, because that might require him to have a hard look at things. Now all of a sudden he wants to shift back on topic. <laughs> Anon says... Cause you're ugly and a creep. <laughs> That's why you're rejected. Finn! Masaki. What do I have to do to meet her standards? Be over 180 centimeters or what? Yeah, it's all about height. That thing you can't control? <laughs> Just blame that. Anon says, well, I don't think being unoccupied at 33 is helping. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, girls can smell it on you. <laughs> they know you ain't shit. Masaki says, So you're saying I should be younger and have a job? <laughs> younger you can't help. At least get a job. It would be a start. Anon says, At least that, I would say. But seriously, how are you going to sort this out? Why won't you tell us? Even if you were totally up to her standards... <laughs> It's no good if she already has a boyfriend. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> yeah, Melvin Milktoast out here smashing all these broads. <laughs> Masaki. So I'm doomed then. What a cruel fate. So this is the door of Fate Stone, is it? I want to date Madame Chen so much more than her boyfriend does, Ors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, you don't get to. Just wishing isn't enough to make it happen. Anon says, I think it's just about time we ignore these threads. He just runs away as soon as he's questioned. Same as Madame Chan, come to think of it. <laughs> Uh, another Anon says, Runs away as soon as he's made to face reality. Fix that for you. Lol, yeah. Uh, I just want to hear what a jobless 33-year-old has as a life plan. <laughs> <laughs> there is no plan. Suffer until dead, I guess. <laughs> Another anon. No matter how young or rich you are, you won't get anywhere with such childish thinking and your disgusting personality. Seriously, Watanabe. You give me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Masaki, what about me does that? I'm just normal. Nope, none of this is normal. <laughs> Anon says, you are not normal. I mean, just take a look at what you're doing all day. Unoccupied at 33, arrested twice in one year for some stupid ass stuff. Yeah, sounds normal to me. I suppose it's a reasonable idea that you might be able to get into digital music, but you really need to plan things out more. That you don't plan your life is pretty much why this sort of thing happens. Damn, dude, that announce right. I should plan things out a little more. 
But Masaki still don't hear it. <laughs> Actually, after high school, my plans were to go straight to vocational school and become a game creator. Yeah, super. Good luck. <laughs> Anon. Lately, I've realized that Watanabe's been getting serious on 2chan. Lots of preaching, lots of boasting about Nico Nico videos and his English. Do you really just want people to praise you or, or what? Probably it's exactly that, <laughs> Masaki. I don't want praise. I want to look down on the slackers of this generation. Dude, you are them. <laughs> You're doing nothing at 33. And everybody else is a slacker? <laughs> Not even the most ridiculous part of these posts. Anon comes along and says, I'm a slacker. And I look down on this guy. <laughs> yeah, same deal. At least half of Japan has got to be better than you. Don't you know that girls hate persistent guys, Masaki? And then how am I supposed to get along with Manami Chan? Another truth bomb as Anon says, There is so much about you that makes that impossible. <laughs> uh, really just giving them to him straight. Couple cheap shots here and there, but all in all, it seems mostly above the belt. If only he would listen, <laughs> Masaki. Eh, like what, Anon? Thinking about it, Manami-chan is probably a slacker too, hmm? I mean, she ran away from him, but... Why does this guy keep committing crimes? <laughs> I did it all to marry Manami-chan. <laughs> It's so weird. Uh, Anon. Christ, nobody wants to marry human waste like you. People who commit crimes do it because they don't have anybody to begin with. You're no doubt exactly the type that Manami-chan hates. Oh, now it's getting personal. The gloves are coming off. <laughs> Masaki. It's all over. I've been rejected by Manami-chan. Our food is poisoned with radiation. I try to get the slackers to take action and protect our children, but they won't work a day in their lives. I despair whenever I think about this generation. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you despair about yourself a little bit more? It might motivate you to new and greater heights. But nah, nah, much easier to just look at what everybody else is doing wrong, right? God, he's insufferable. <laughs> Anon. So, when are you planning to get married? <laughs> Masaki. If I can't marry Manami-chan, then I'll never get married. Well, then that's the path you've chosen. <laughs> Another Anon. Committing crimes left and right, but being able to marry Manami-chan? How? How could that possibly happen? <laughs> Masaki. The slackers don't care about my well-being at all. The radioactive food isn't safe at all, but they let it go. Is this generation just full of the worst of trash? Too lazy to care about me? Whores. Just never a straight answer out of this guy. You don't really want to respond to anybody, you just want people to respond to you. So here's what you do. Open up a Word document, dig yourself a hole, scrawl the soliloquy uh, of a length of your choice in that Word document, enjoy some delicious radioactive food while you're down there, <laughs> and eventually pass away. We'll kick some sand on top of you, read your last words and have a laugh. If you can't put yourself into therapy, if you're not actively seeking to get better, then yeah, the best I could do is, is turn it into a case study, you know? <laughs> Anon says, Why can't you get a job instead of moaning on the internet? Masaki, I told you that's what I want to do, but I don't have any motivation. <laughs> yeah, that is a rather big part of it. Uh, like Taro Yamamoto says, people who won't work to protect the children are finished as human beings. That's right, you're 33, already a lost cause, right? <laughs> now it's all about the children for some weird, creepy reason. He doesn't even have kids. Why do you care so much about kids? I think the police need to go take another look at his hard drive, honestly. <laughs> and of course, Masaki's groaning about slackers goes on and on and on. 
Masaki, I couldn't marry Manami-chan, so I've lost all hope. I wish I could go back to studying with Manami-chan. If I can't marry Manami-chan, I don't see the point in living. Oars, oars, oars. <laughs> yeah, there were probably plenty of other threads, but these ones sum it up well enough. Masaki Watanabe, everybody. He's real. And definitely unhinged, but hey, shout out to the Japanese police for, for jumping on top of it, not letting any bad happen. And also, shout out to Manami-chan herself for running away, just <laughs> removing all social veneer and being like, I need to get away from this danger as soon as possible. <laughs> Sometimes that's what you gotta do. Politeness goes out the window. This guy is a, a certified psychopath. I sort of wonder what he's doing a decade and a half later, but I get the feeling that I probably wouldn't like the answer, so <laughs> we'll leave it here for today. I hope you like, comment, subscribe on the video if you did enjoy it, friends. Please feel free to support me on Patreon or, or YouTube with the membership program. I, I really appreciate those things. On the end card, I'll link you to the Denko Saga, because that's what I talked about in this one. It's a bit longer, also a bit funnier, so go check it out. And of course, always remember, friends, that you're loved, you're worthy, you definitely, definitely deserve it, and I shall see you in the next one, so until then, bye-bye. Go ahead and cut him open. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine! Promise swears